Did we take steroids? But the answer is yes. Ever since Arnold became a worldwide sensation, so did bodybuilding and so did steroids. Right, when you Damn, just broke the machine. Today I want to talk about how those steroids could have affected Arnold's heart. Steroids can have a huge impact on the heart muscle itself. So I wanna talk about that in this video today and talk you through a little bit of the physiology behind steroids, how it works, and why it can cause such big issues. I'm Jack, I'm a doctor in the UK, and I'm incredibly passionate about sharing health information to help you live healthier and happier. So if you like the idea of that, then please subscribe, and let's get into this. Dallas McCarver was an Olympia athlete who took loads of steroids and was absolutely massive. And he died at age 26. And when they did an autopsy on his body, they found that his heart was three times the size of normal. Why did that happen? First of all, there are lots of different types of steroids within the body and they can be incredibly, incredibly beneficial. And it can be confusing to get your head around them. So we've got steroids produced in the testes and we've got steroids produced in the adrenal glands. So the adrenal glands produce glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids, the, the stress hormones and hormones that allow you to retain water. And then the gonads produce testosterone. So the anabolic steroids that we talk about when we talk about steroids, they are synthetically produced testosterone that people then give. So importantly, people who are given corticosteroids like prednisolone, that can be incredibly beneficial for people with asthma, with autoimmune conditions to dampen the immune response because it reduces inflammation. Whereas the anabolic steroids have been given to treat HIV in the past, but it's not very common. And there are a lot of side effects and a lot of issues with taking anabolic steroids. And one of the main issues with that is on the heart. When we talk about anabolic steroids, we call them AAS, which is anabolic androgenic steroids. And it's very important that those two words are there because we have anabolic, which means that they allow us to produce more muscle. So that includes skeletal muscle, like biceps and all the ones you see on the bodybuilders, but also that anabolic effect can also affect the heart, which is why you get these massive hearts in bodybuilders. We'll go into that in a bit, but also the other aspect of this is the androgenic effects. And those androgenic effects of the steroids are what cause us to have hair loss and acne and gynecomastia. So that's the androgenic function. Steroids have a really toxic effect on the whole cardiovascular system because they cause an increase in blood pressure through retention of sodium in the kidneys, which causes you to have more fluid in your vessels, which causes your blood pressure to be higher. So with blood pressure being higher, that can cause you to damage blood vessels. And then we come on to the next effect, which is steroids cause you to have higher cholesterol levels within the blood and higher blood glucose. And those two things, when if you damage those blood vessels, the cholesterol and the glucose can get into the artery walls and cause atherosclerosis. That can narrow the coronary arteries and narrow the arteries within your brain as well. And then that can lead to you having heart attacks and strokes. So that's how these people can die. That's one of the reasons. But then the other main issue is the one we saw in Dallas McCarver, which is that your heart grows just the same as your muscles on the outside of your body do which causes it to have a massive oxygen demand. So, you know, you've got these narrowing blood vessels, but you've also got a heart that's growing, so it's got loads of oxygen demand to keep going. So that's why you can see these 
bodybuilders being maybe short of breath when they're walking upstairs because they've got such a massive oxygen demand to their body and their heart is becoming less and less functional. So that's why this has such a toxic effect on the cardiovascular system. At the end of the day, you already knew when you clicked on the video that my medical opinion is that you shouldn't take steroids. But what my role as a doctor is as well is to educate you on all of the different side effects of taking steroids so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. That's the impact that steroids can have on the heart. And if you want to learn more, I'll leave some links down below and let me know in the comments what you think about that. Subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Thanks.